Hi, my name is Fei Xie. I'm the principal bassoonist of the Minnesota Orchestra. This is the start of my fourth season with the orchestra, and I've been playing the bassoon for 26 years. Now, I would like to talk a little bit about the bassoon. This is a double reed instrument in the woodwind family, and it's constructed in six parts. And this is the bell, and this is the long joint. Down here is the boot joint, and this is the wing joint, and this little thing here extended out of the instrument is called boco. And on top of the boco is the reed. It's the crucial part of making it speak. If we don't have the reed, the bassoon doesn't make sound. Let's talk about the reed. This is a double reed. It's made out by a piece of cane, also known as a rondodonex. It is one long piece of cane. We shape and profile, and then we fold it in half. After you fold it in half, we round this part into a little tube. That's what put on the boco. That's the connection. So after that, we cut the tip open, and one piece turns into two pieces. That's why it's called a double reed. When we blow into the reed, it creates the vibration, and that's how we play the bassoon. As you can see, the bassoon has a lot of keys. We use many different kind of fingerings to make the sound and there's one particular finger that is extremely busy when you play the bassoon. It's our left thumb. On this two joint here, the wing joint and the long joint, there's a combination of about nine or 10 keys, depends on the instrument. So we are using one thumb to cover all these keys and sometimes different combinations of these keys. Bassoon is a rather large instrument it is the lowest instrument in the woodland family. But the bassoon can play higher range as well as the low range. So the bassoon across three octaves, you can play uncomfortably high, like this. Or very low. The lowest note on the bassoon is a low B flat. But there are some composers now have composed a piece that requires one more note, which goes a half step lower. It's a low A. That's why we have this thing called the low A extension. What it does is that when you put on top of the bell, it adds the length of the instrument. And it brings out one more note, a low A. This is without it. That gives you an extra note on the instrument. Like many other instruments, we have standard techniques to play the instrument. We have slurred, staccatos, and sometimes when we need to play really fast staccato, we use this technique called double tongue. So when you create two syllables while you're playing on the reed, one is ta, the other is ka. So you alter the two syllables. Instead of going ta ta ta, you do ta ka ta ka ta ka ta ka ta. So you double the speed. What I love about playing the bassoon is that it has a very expensive range of colors and characteristics. Sometimes the bassoon are known to be the funny ones in the orchestra. But in a season, maybe I'll play two or three concerts that have some funny characters. What really draws my interest to the instrument is its ability to sing, especially in the tenor register, 
like a human voice. Many composers has used the bassoon to create melancholic solos in the orchestra repertoires. And it uses its singing voice to reach audience ear and their soul. That is the bassoon solo from the Fourth Symphony by Tchaikovsky. It is an example of how the instrument can create the sadness feeling for the audience. That's the solo from The Sources Apprentice by Dukar. And it is an example of how the bassoon could, could play the funny and um, comic character in the, uh, in the repertoire. Music is a very important element of humankind. It's a way to express people's feeling. It helps me to experience many emotions. Listening to music gives you a variety of experiences. You could feel the happiness, the sadness, and all sorts of feelings that, can, that a composer creates for us. Playing the music really helps me to stay creative and um, also gives me a sort of a discipline when I was learning music as a child. Um, it develops your fine motor skills and stimulates your brain and really improve the creative thinking as well. We all came from different backgrounds and different cultures. In this one place, music can connect us all. It's such a universal entity, and it's a language that we can all understand and enjoy. Thanks for watching, and we'll see you at Orchestra Hall.